All right, the next book will be The Crown Trick or Treat. Let's see how's Crown doing the trick or treat in Halloween. The crowns are ready for Halloween. They cannot wait to fill their bags with treats. Hmm, the crown said, you know what? You're supposed to say on Halloween, right? Of course we do. Orange knock on the first door. Give us your candy, ladies. I'm naked. What? Okay, looks like it doesn't go well. Oh, that was all kind of wrongs. Not mention confusing. It's holiday, you guys. I think holiday now. Let's try, try it again. Okay, we got this. No problem. Let's see how's the crayon do for the Halloween. Green knocks the, on the next door. Merry Christmas! Happy American Cheese Month! Happy Birthday! I'm naked! Hmm? Is it for Halloween? Oh, it's all, oh, it's Halloween! And we have to be polite too! Oh, polite! Okay, we got it now! Hmm, how to be polite? And the gray crayon knocks on the door after that. Happy Halloween, please! I'm naked! Thank you! You are welcome! Is it right? Is it right? Right word for Halloween? Not sure. Oh, for crying out loud. Points for good manner, I guess. It's a scary holiday, everyone. Oh, scary. I got this now. Oh, the white... The white crayon. Mm, what is he going to do? And the white crayon knock on the door. Boo! Boo! Oh my god, he's scared. He scared the people. Let's not polite what I meant. What I meant. That's not quite what I meant. It was close though. Mm, so what it should be? The gray step forward again. And ready to knock the door. And then the purple crayon say, Wait! Wait a minute! Mm, what are they going to discuss? Mm, let's see what are they going to discuss. Repeat after me. Tree or tree. Tree or tree. Everybody say tree or treats. There we go. Tree or treats. Okay, it's a Halloween, so you have to say tree or treat. The crayons all knock the door. And The story end. All right, this book's title is Rule of the House. Or look at the house. Look like a haunted house. And lose this scary voice. Maybe something went wrong in this house. Let's take a look. Right, rule of the house. Okay, Ian always follow the rules. Here he is following the rules. Always pack a toothbrush. And Ian said, rules are meant to be followed. Ian would always say that because he meant it. Ian's older sister was Jenny, and he she never followed the rules. Here she's breaking the rules. Don't pinch. Okay, Jenny pinch me, said Ian. And Jenny said, no, I didn't. And then, then, then that said, don't tell lies, as she pulled up their vacation house in wood and the dad said this is very important rules okay the house is the woods was tidy and warm the living room had a pot belly stove and the den had a bare skin rug and best thought had crowd food top ian thought it was great mm. 
And then the best of all was flame piece of paper in hallway that say the rule of the house. And Ian said, look, rules. And Jenny said, you such a toddy. And, and then pinch him. Ouch, said Ian. You're not supposed to. Ouch. And Ian draw a deep breath and read out the rules. All right. What's the rule of the house? Okay, the rule of the house. We trust you will respect the house by observing the following rules. All right, number one, remove muddy shoes before you enter the house. Number two, don't leave the ring around the bathtub drain. Number three, replace and firewood you burn. All right, number four, never ever open the red door. Okay, what is the red door? All right, and Ian said, everybody got it? And Jenny said, yes, just for today. And Ian got an ouch again. During the day, Ian and Jenny and, and Dad did four things like hiking. Ian came to mark the trail and swimming. Ian, even Ian waited an hour after eating. Climbing the tree, Ian climbed no branch higher than his head. Okay, but this is not the story about the forest. This is the story about the house. So what happened to the house? All right, because of course, it wasn't long before Jenny started breaking the rule. He truck mud all over the rug. Her hair right, rap, rap, it, wrapped it around the drain. And he loved roasting marshmallow, but never gathered more wood. Jenny's Jenny! And Ian said, Jenny, you're breaking the rules. And Jenny said, Ian, I wish you would disappear. Mm, they look angry. Ian pointed to the paper on the wall. You already broke broken rules one through three. And Jenny said, so what? It's not even our house. And Ian said, doesn't matter. Rules are the rules. And rules are meant to be. And Jenny removed toward the, to the red door. Listen, Toddy. If you say that one more time, I swear I will open this door. And Ian said, rule meant to be. Hmm. And Jenny turned to the nut. And Ian shouted, rule are meant to be followed. And Jenny flocked the door open. Oh my God. She opened the red door. Hmm? Nothing happened. Okay, nothing is happening. All right, until that night. All right, until the night. <sighs> what happened? Oh my God, the rug was the first knock on their bed door, bathroom door. What happened? Oh, my beautiful fur. It's muddy and muddy, the, the rock said. Who break the rule of the house? And Jenny said, we did. And Ian said, liar, it's only her. it was only her. And Jenny said, Tony. The rock smiles and said, I will have this rule breaker for my dinner. <laughs> and the top lip into the home, not so fast. I have taste her hair and I'm hungry for more. I will have this rule breaker for my dinner. <laughs> and the stove said, what about me? My body is empty. There is no wood downstairs. I will have this bro rule breaker for my dinner. Ooh, those terrible creatures stepped closer and closer. Ian knew just what to do. He grabbed his toothbrush and he, he ran away. Oh my God, he ran away. Serve her rights, thought Ian as he ran through the wood. She would have listened, thought Ian as he jumped over roots. After all, thought Ian as he ducked it under a branch. Rule are meant to be. Ian stopped, certainly. He scratched his arm, the one that usually got pinched. He decided, hmm, even if there was a rule that said, always save your sister from being eaten by a monster. Maybe 
there should be hmm so what should Ian do then oh my god when Ian come back to the house the creature were all in the kitchen the top and stove boil some water while the rock chopping vegetables and the and they said roll breaker suit for dinner roll breaker suit for dinner it was a very clever song but the, the tone is catchy roll roll breaker suit for dinner they bailed out in three parts of harmony mm. ian rushed into kitchen stop do not eat my sister and the stove said but ian she didn't follow the rules said by stove yeah but said ian but it wasn't then that ian realized he didn't have a plan if you eat if you want to eat my sister, you have to eat me first. And the monster said, <laughs> Brilliant. The monster wouldn't eat him. Ian always followed the rules, right? And the stove said, Okay, let's eat him first like an appetizer. Whoa. So the monster still wants to eat Ian. Apparently, there was no rule about who monster could eat. The creature draw as his draw closer ian backed against the wall and his brandish toothbrush <sighs> and monster stopped it what is this said rug the red thing in his hat ian looked down it's a toothbrush and the stove said a toothbrush what's that you use it to clean your teeth after you eat said by ian don't you guys have a toothbrush? And the top said, no, looking very sodden. We never seen one before. And Ian laughed. <laughs> you were going to eat us and you don't even have a toothbrush? You're supposed to always pack a toothbrush. That's rules. And the top said, is, is this? Yes, Seba Ian. You break rules. You are bre rule breaker. And the rock said, we are? What is going to happen to us? And Ian remembered his father's word. Don't tell lies. Then he forgot them. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. When you break the toothbrush rule, very bad thing happened. When you break the, break the toothbrush rule, a huge monster comes for you. Ooh. And the top said, how big is the monster? <sighs> and the stove said, as, as big as you three put together plus a little bit. Oh my! And Ian said, yes, the monster has long hair and a green eyes and short pink nail. It creeps up behind you, give you a pinch. Ian, what is pinch? Ian nodded at Jenny. This is pinch. Mm. And Jenny gave each monster a good hard pinch from behind. Ouch! said Black Creature. They flood down the hall and through the red door. Ian and Jenny slammed it and shut behind them. Mm. And Jenny said, Thank you. And Ian said, You're welcome. Jenny said, You lied to me. And Ian said, So? So, isn't it that against the rule? And Ian said, don't be a teddy today. All right, and then Jenny pinched him, but it doesn't hurt. Story end. Okay, the next book title is Get Me Out of This Book. Hmm, do you see this spooky stuff? And the bookmark looks scary. Let's see what's going on. Alright. Oh, Max. I'm the bookmark who used to scream scared to death of books. The picture fears me out. Mm. When I was put on a page with a with a king crowbar, I couldn't look and I shook. 
and I scream, ah, get me out of this book. But no one heard and I was tripping. That's when I snapped it and went back to school for a special bookmark page. I had to learn how to handle the scariest picture in a scariest book. My trainer was tough. He told me rules and the tools for looking right at scary. Mm. Then he put me in the books on the page with shark. It had giant white teeth and it's swimming toward my face. I could almost feel the bites and my heart went I couldn't look and I shook and I screamed get me out of this book and then I remember the number one of the rule of tool and the tools breathe deeply deep breathing and breathe out and then deep breathing Deep breath out. I keep breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing until my heart slowed down. And I could look past the teeth to the eyes of the shark and said, You are just a picture and you can't hurt me. Creepy was next. next. When I was put on the page with hundreds of cockroaches crawling toward me like an army, I couldn't look and I shook and I screamed, Get me out of this book! And then I remember number two of the rules and tools make a plan. I decided to think up a song and to, think re to sing really loudly. Macaroni, macaroni, one, two, three, you are not real and you can't hurt me. I keep singing, singing, and singing until I was able to open my eyes very slowly and look right at those cockroaches. Mm, maybe he gave over it. The next book was Haunted. I was put on a page that was darker than dark. And I knew spooky death thing were hiding there. I couldn't look and I shook and I screamed, ah, Get me out of this book! <clears throat> and then I remember number three of the rules and tools. Think good thing, good thought. I will get through the dark page, I said to myself. If other bookmark can do it, I can do it too. I couldn't see anything at all, so I decided to practice. What would I do if a 10-foot skeleton came out of the dark and was ready to attack me? I punch him. Then I watch his bones fall apart into the pile on the ground. They would look so silly that I start laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing. When I stopped it practicing, I was still all alone in dark. But I realized that the good thoughts were right there to help me. I graduated from bookmark school. I love my special bookmark page that I had learned rules and tools and now I wanted to go into scariest picture in the scariest book. Mm. Wow, this is the scariest thing. Before long, I find myself in the closet, the dark closet, a locked closet. I was trapping inside with a monster that had seven hairiest head. I wanted to freak out. Oh my God, who are they? Who are they? But I remember that I had rules and tools and I knew what to do. I started to breathe deeply, deep breathing, deep breathe out until I was feeling calm. I made a plan. I stopped it up very tall and pretended I was not 
afraid. I thought, good thought, I could do this. I could handle this. I would be all right. <clears throat> I looked right at the fourteen eyes in seven hats. One hat was looking up. One hat was looking down. One hat was looking halfway around. One hat was screaming. One hat was trembling. One hat was closing its eyes, and one hat was stop sobbing, big guni tears. And that's when I realized that the big hairy monster with all those hats was afraid of dark closet too. I yelled at head, "Don't be afraid! Tomorrow, someone will turn the page in the book, and you'll get out, and everything will be okay." And then I knew that I would be okay too. Even in the scariest picture in the scariest book, because the rules and rules really work. Okay, that's the end of the story. All right, this book is about how mermaids sleep and how those animal creature. Or monster, how they speak, how they sleep. All right. When mermaids sleep, when mermaids sleep in ocean deep, inside their cave, coral caves, they lay their heads on seaweed beds, rocked it softly by the waves. Oh, so mermaids. Mermaid's pillow probably is a seaweed. All right. Those same waves carry sailing ship from shore to distant shore. A bed in bunks, asleep on trunk, a scruffy pirate snore. <sighs> so pirate never sleep on the bed too. Hmm. Let's see how genie sleep. Okay. Inside those rusty iron trunks, their stolen treasure gleams. Dug up from sand in far off lands, where genies gently dream.、Mm, this is how genies sleep. The same sand builds a castle strong, with tower ten in numbers, where all afloat. Within moats, the royal serpents slumber.、Mm, those dragons sleep in, in the.、Um, atop those tower in sky, the regular wizard keep their eyes on Mars and all the star before they fall asleep. Hmm. So wizard, maybe wizard didn't sleep at all.、Mm. Those same star, wrinkled in wind in woods, wear ivy hands like Eve's, and unicorn rest tired horn, on pillow made of leaves. Hmm. So unicorn, sleep on a leaves. Okay, on wings of wind, those leaves are sw swept, to mighty mountain high, where. Tall crests shake, and valley quake. A sleeping giant sign.、Oh, so, giants live sleep in the mountain. Then, hmm. In those same valley, blue with dust, dusk. Inside the giant shoes, snuggling tight in blankets white, the sneaky goblin snores. Hmm. So the goblin sleep in the giant's shoes. Oh, those blanket white are made from snow, whose lazy falling flakes drifting to the west, where drift driven nest. Oh shh! No, now one awake. Hmm. This driven looks scary. Far below those same 
large nests, internal underground, glossing back in round glass dug, jug with dustling draft were found. Hmm, so draft live in the cave. Those turned lamp up through the us. They'll reach the surface soon, where fairies lay on flowers high and sleep beneath the mud. Hmm, so the fairy, the fairies sleep in the flower maybe? Yeah, in the flower and mushroom then. Into your room shines that same moon and cast a dreamy light. Close your eyes as magic flies. It's time to say... It's time to say what? Now it's time to say good night. The book is over. Okay, here is the today's book. Fall is for school. Does anyone love to go to school? Are you guys ready to go back to school in fall? Okay, let's see. What's the school? Fall is for school. Hmm. That's really uncool. Okay. The boy thing fall is uncool because she, he has to go to school. Alright. Fall is here. It's time for school. The summer's in the past. Oh, but the boy said, I'm staying here. I will not go vacation. When too fast. I will not go. Mm. The boy looks so sad. Fall is time for turning leaves. The weather is growing cool. Fall is here. Come on with me. It's time to go to school. School is not re really my thing. You go on alone. I'll be fine all by myself. Sitting here at home. Oh my god, the boy really don't want to go to school. Let's go and meet our your teacher. You are going to look so nice. Tuck in your shirts and tie your shoes. You must take my advice. Teacher! Teacher? Sister, no! I do not think that I can go. In school, we'll learn of Romes, who really were no dummies, and the pyramid in Egypt, all filled up with mummies. Mm, does anyone love mummy? This is mummy. Right, dinosaur, carnivores, mighty, tinyrosaurus, giant tiger, willy mammals really were enormous. Mm, look at those dinosaurs and mammals. I'm going to play all day. It doesn't matter what you said. Recess is for playing games. We'll run and jump and climb. Let's go right now and join the fun. You really might not whine. Why? <sighs> so sad. You really don't want to so, be so sad. Do your number. One, two, three. Add, subtract, multiply. A million trillion. My, oh my. Count the star up in the sky. I do not really like arithmetic. It hurts my eyes. It makes me sick. I will not go. I do not care. I have heard enough to tell the truth. I'm not like you. School is too tough. Hmm, does anyone love mathematics? Maybe not. Mm. Rocket ship that fly to Mars. Music, sports, and arts. These are all the things you love. I think you'll be very smart. All right. We will learn to read and write. The story we will tell, and if you want to do it right, you have to learn to spell. 
see those history. You have to learn how to learn English. Acrossing the shining sea. Oh, he spelled the sea wrong. This is the correct C-E-A. Fall is time for parties. For a spooky Halloween, we will dress up just like zombies and paint our face green. Hmm, Halloween is coming. Coming soon. Are you guys ready for Halloween? In silence, we will never stop until we ace the pumpkin drop. Pumpkin drop? What is pumpkin drop? Wow, pumpkin drop. We paint them up and drop them. It's really engineering. If your pumpkin doesn't smash, the teacher will be chill chilling. Is that something I can do? And everyone is going? Staying home after a day was getting kind of boring. Okay, do not stay home all day. Fall is time for school. We'll be learn, we'll be clever. A great big world will open up and change our lives forever. Maybe school will be all right. I might just reconsider. Maybe you're not so dumb. For my si for my baby sister, fall is time for a school. Mm, fall is really time for school. School is full of awesome. The world is mighty cool. It's amazing universe. Fall is time for a school. Yes. Are you guys ready for school? Okay, this story ends. Okay, the next book will be Stumpkin. Let's see what happened to this pumpkin. Right. It was a few days before Halloween. Outside a little shop in the big city, shopkeeper placed some pumpkin on the shelf. Okay. A girl came and looked at the pumpkin. When he was done, he picked one up and carried it away. The other pumpkin worried after their friend. Alright, let's see what happened to the pumpkin. Oh, but later they spot them across the street and way up high. What's this? What is that? He was a jack-o'-lantern. Beneath his lovely stain, he now had two triangle eyes, a nose, and a giant toothy smile. He had a new home, a, per a perch all to himself. High above the streets, what more could any anyone wanted? Thought the thought the pumpkin. They were throated for their friend and throated that day too. Might one day be a jack or lantern. They were all happily lost in thoughts. Imagine themselves as a jack o' lantern. When one pumpkin realized something was very wrong. Poor little pumpkin, poor little stainless pumpkin, with just a stem, not a stem. Poor little Stan Stankin, still there was plenty to like about Stankin. He was handsome pumpkin, as orange as a trophy corn. He was as big as basketball, and twice as round. Stans, who knew? Who knows? Some people might even prefer a stainless pumpkin. Mmm, poor little pumpkin. Days passed, and more people came. Some pumpkin left. Some pumpkin stayed. Mmm. It wasn't yet Halloween. There was still plenty of window that needed jack-o'-lantern. Mm. Okay, still need a lot of jack-o'-lantern. Who would be lucky enough to take home Stankin as orange as an orange, as big as basketball round? He was very nearly the perfect pumpkin, very nearly, truly. And the next day, new people came. 
Okay. Are they going to buy this Duncan? And the shopkeeper, shopkeeper's cats settled on Stankin's smooth top. Then it happened. A brilliant baby chased Stankin until a bad dog ruined it. And the baby changed his mind. Oh my god, little baby changed his mind. Oh well, thought Stankin. It was the day of Halloween. There were still a few empty windows. See those few empty windows? You can still fill in some jack o' lantern, right? Let's see what's going on. Two were left on shopkeeper's shelf. A boy came, and when the boy left, so this Duncan been sold yet? No, Stankin remain. Oh, that's grounded. Thought Stankin. I guess that's 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 it, right? It was Halloween night, and the shop had closed. There were no more day left. Okay, what those Stankin will be? The shopkeeper scooped up poor Stankin and carried him off. Hey, what Stankin will be? Let's see. Okay, a triangle. Two triangle. All right. Stankin wouldn't be getting a window, and he wouldn't be getting a new home. Okay, so where is Stankin's home? Oh, he already had a home, right? Yes. And that made Stankin very, very happy. So Stankin remained in the shop. And he likes his Halloween so much. That's the end of the story.